welcome, welcome viewers, welcome to Boy 16 Bit here with a playthrough of FF3. And yes, um, I didn't go anywhere much. Um, I just pretty much stayed at um, Frego Castle. I believe um, I'm still saying that right. Um, but that's how I can pronounce it. <laughs> that's how I'm pronounce it now because we just met Edgar the King, if you remember. And I believe um, Moody went off somewhere, um, aka Lock. Talking about the main protagonist of um, the sword, but anyway, um, I'm here. I didn't do anything much. I just pretty much just stayed here and you know just call it a day. Um, I was doing a recording last night and I did it kind of pretty late, so you know um, I'm kind of back here again, um, picking up where I actually left off. So with that being said, um, what we're going to do today, we're going to try to get a lot of content. Here. So, um, I apologize for any slow movements or anything like that. Um, I didn't progress, but if you guys did progress, that's actually good. Um, you can come back right here and we'll go ahead and um, proceed. Um, like I said before, I'm not going to do any commentary, so it will be one just one clean, flush um, playthrough without minimum disturbance. So, we're just going to keep it on just that tangent. And with that said, there's some funny things that we're going to learn here. And there's also some very interesting things that's going to happen here also. So, with that being said, strap into the driver's seat and let's drive. I back and make a, um, a visit I'm sorry I just stepped out on the world map don't do this don't stay out here you will get attacked by enemy and it won't be good um, this guy will stop you every time to check you before you get inside um, just make sure you do a full go around of this place and try to understand um, what is going on you can come down here and you can talk to these guys that's actually down here you'll get some very funny um, response from prisoners that's actually here uh, that one guy said he was a good fucking <laughs> and yes um, if you read the text closely in this game they say some pretty funny stuff so you're probably going to want to pay attention to that a lot and um, I don't want to keep going on and on because I know I said I made this a commentary a non-commentary video but I just felt like I just have to show this again because it might just fly over your head simply because it's a very old school retro game so remember if you haven't picked up the um the bio blasters and the stuff for um edgar for me i call him reed so from time to time you'll be hearing me referring to him as king reed but you this is where you will come to always get his skill and that's the reason why i say you want to get familiar with right here because these are his skill right here and there will be more in the future for you to actually so you want to actually keep your eyes on that and then there will be some in dungeons if I remember that you will also get so and this is the item guy right here stack upon any item I made sure I stack upon a few items and oh yeah I almost forgot my background kind of a little bit different now remember I was telling you guys before that I was actually going to go ahead and change it so yes I did go ahead and do that so um, you can go ahead and change yours if you want to um, I'm comfortable with this, the, the kind of dark, the kind of light ocean blue don't really affect the dark blue in the background to where so it's so bright that you can't see. Kind of make the text much more, you know, suave if you, if you want to. Hope I'm not using too much big words. <laughs> but yeah, 
they just kind of make it swap you just kind of make it look nice so i just kind of just keep it like that but anyway though um enough of me going on and on i'm going to go ahead and get into what is interesting about here and you will learn a little interesting backstory right here that will kind of ties into the story and it follows the brother so we're going to pretty much go to that location right now and touch upon that backstory and that backstory is going to unlock other events for us to um, take part of or to partake in. But anyway, we keep going. Yes, we're gonna keep going. Anyhow, here we are. Um, and we're gonna talk to that old lady over there. I, I want to say old lady to me, she looks like old lady, but I don't know. And that kid that's running up right in there, that, that kid that's running all over the place. We're gonna talk to these two people. We're gonna learn something interesting. talk to these mates right here they will tell you about um Reed. they will tell you that he's a ladies man and stuff like that if you talk to him. so you can actually that's another thing that you can pay attention to right there um like i said i'm gonna go ahead and go back into the thing this is his um mini 
that's his chancellor right here. Um, we can talk to him. Somebody from the Emperor's here can't be good. Let's let's see what's going on right here, viewers. Just a little bit for a second because um, something so historical is about to happen right now and I, I felt like I have to point it out because this is like pretty much one of the biggest drama in video game right here like when I say drama it's drama now he's in the desert and he's whining about how you know King Gastel actually just gave him a stupid order now be mindful this is the right hand man of the king you see what I'm saying so he's actually mad at the fact that he has to walk across the desert. And instead of being, you know, an upright man and saying, okay, yeah, man, I'm going I'm to carry out my order for the king because I'm the right-hand man of the king. Pay attention to what my man is about to say to these two people right here. This guy get really wild, yo. Like, Kafka is wild, and that's the reason why I can relate to him more than any other boss in Final Fantasy, much more than separate than any boss. It's just that... He's a, he's a clown, but he's not a stupid clown. You see what I'm saying? Like, he he acts like a clown, but he's more like a joker, if you put it that way. It's like, oh, you look like a clown, but you're not really a clown. You're more you're more diabolical than you think, you know, than, than you think you are. But anyway, just pay attention to it. I don't want to go too crazy, but just pay attention to what it says, because it's pretty historical. Like, trust me, if you research this game, and you ask any about, anybody about um, Kafka's um, most um, silliest scene, trust me, this is going to be one of them that they're going to talk about. <laughs> and, and there you have it. So he was just like, he was just getting mad at the fact, like I said before, because he actually walk, have to walk all the way out of the desert. But then, instead of ordering the man to go forward and actually continue doing what they're doing, this man in the desert is going to order the soldiers to actually clean the sand out of his boot. <laughs> that is crazy. They're actually going to do it. <laughs> they're actually going to do it. Silly, <laughs> just, just silly, just silly. I, I just had to point out that 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 is, trust me, that is a historical scene right there. Like it don't get no more historical than that. I remember when I was young and I first saw that, I was dying with laugh. I was like, are you serious? Like they actually cleaned the sand out of his boot in the middle of a desert when you're supposed to continue doing what you're doing. You're gonna have your soldiers clean sand out of your boot around a place that is filled with sand anyway. You just going to get sat on your boot anyway so why did you tell them to do it but it's just one of those laughs let's continue the story though
Yes, yes, Kafka get ruthless, and that's the main um, villain in the entire Final Fantasy series. That's who we're going to go against. Um, I, I was waiting for him to actually reveal himself, but you see him reveal himself prior into the start of this game. I just never really got into him to let you guys know, you know, who is going to be the main villain of the series of FF3. But the main villain of FF3 is just right there a while ago, and yes, he's pretty much a cool motherfucker. Like, he gets really, really, really ingenious in how he does his thing. And like I said before, like, this is going to be pretty much one of those, like, don't just look at the game and think, oh, because it looks like a 16-bit game or 8-bit game, it's not going to bring that flavor. Like, it's definitely going to bring that flavor. Like, we're going to get into some crazy stuff because it's going to be... And it's going to be a fun one now um i want to touch up right here for a little bit because there's something i kind of have to explain um to you viewers before we even continue going forward and it mainly has to follow this right here relic um we're going to mess with a lot of these and it's, it's pretty much coming up very soon where we will actually get like certain relics like we'll find certain relics and we can also buy certain relics and certain relics we're going to have to get in the game by doing various activities now um i will show you where you get those relics and how those relics um are very important to your character um depending on how you plan to use that character so think of relics as a toming system where you can do you know other things that is not permitted in the skill that of your character so put it that way i hope, I hope that makes some sense um espers we're going to get into that later um wait that's not going to come anytime now but we are we are learning about them right now but it's going to come way later and then magic that also too is going to come way later so for right now um just worry about the story for right now and um pretty much just progress to um you know just progress to the story and as the story evolves we will get um more so i'm gonna go ahead and continue this um i'm thinking about if i should or should because now i'm actually at a very important spot um I think I'm going to hold off on that introduction because I'm coming up on the ending of this recording. I'm, I mean, I still got like, I'm thinking if I should go for it or not. Because I really don't want to go over that mark, but there's nothing else for me to do here. But anyway, let's go ahead and I'm going to start. Wherever this one ends up, we just leave it. Remember that our room is always over here, it's always on the, the left side. I say rude, I mean rude. Thank you. 
It's taking place. That's the reason why you don't mess with Kafka.
All right, now we're right here, and um, if you hear what he said, he says to the south there is actually a cave. The cave is right over here. Um, in fact, the cave is right there. If you look right here, but remember, there's something interesting about the chocobo. If you press the A button or the B button, I would say, and get off the chocobo, you will left stranded anywhere you left it it won't come back for you so you kind of have to know the location exactly where you go in and actually like get there uh, because if you say for instance you think the location is over here and you get off that chocobo you're going to be stuck right here and you might have to fight your way all the way back over here so whenever you get on these birds and you're going to go out there on the location on the world map just remember that you have to know the, the direction that you're going and, and, and make sure you get there so for right now we're going to come right here and we're going to get off the bird right here and this is where we want the moment we get off the bird we got into a fight with the But anyhow, um, this is where I'm going to stop this recording. I know it was pretty much a lengthy drought, but a lot happened. We have learned a lot, and um, this is going to be put up as kind of one of those unusual ones. I did refer that I was going to make this a 20-minute video, but as you can see, when I got to the castle, more scenes kind of happened, and that's how this got kind of drawn out. So, um, like I said, it probably won't happen again on another video. I'm going to hope that I can actually stop it. But for right now, um, I'm just going to end the recording right here. I, I want to say um, thank you very much, viewers, to come um, watching the video and um, pretty much um, spending some time with me. So, um, I, I want to say thank you very much on that one. And I'm going to close it off right here. It's your boy, um, 16-bit, and I'll be seeing you around. Peace out.